welcome back welcome back thank you thank you again for coming to my channel so i'm going to show you guys how i sew on fringes um i'm going to use this little design right here uh let me see if i can bring it in you know what you can see it better this way this little design um there is some stitching on the front and there is also some on the back but the back is more flat so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the back of course so this is my jean skirt and because this uh, matches with my jean skirt, the color, and I really, really like it, I'm just going to line up my um, fringe to the very tip of my dress, if you can see that, right at the very stitch. And then I'm going to take my ribbon of blue and I'm just going to tuck it right on under there just so that it can line up with the very top of the um, skirt right at the edge and then I'm going to line this up right under my needle right under my needle there we go and I'm going to turn my machine on So just so y'all can see what I'm talking about, that ribbon of blue is right up under there. And I'm going to make sure that the needle sits. So I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to even push it under there and clamp it right down. So as you can see, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. The ribbon of blue is right under the thread, right directly under my needle. So what I like doing is I like staying alongside the very top of my um, stitching. My ribbon of blue have a little gold um, lining to it. So I like to keep my thread lined up with that gold lining. And I'm going to do that and I'm going to continue stitching from here, okay? So here we go. So once I start stitching, I like to take the corner slow. Why I want to do that is because I am actually securing the corners to the end of my dress or my garment or my shirt, whatever. So I take it slow. I'm going to put the reverse on and then go backwards. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and go forward. Now again with this, I like to stay alongside that lining. So I am going to try my best to hold this camera and stitch this straight. And guys, if you are starting off for the first time, just take your time. Don't press down on the pressure foot um, too fast. You just take your time slowly press down so that way your eyes can get used to seeing where the needle is going take your time centimeter by centimeter if you have to um, inch by inch if you have to and then once you get used to um, eye hand coordination like we used to do in kindergarten uh, you'll be able to move faster with your stitches and keep them neat So like I said, I just guide my uh, yarn, my ribbon of blue, I'm sorry, <laughs> yarn, I crochet guys, sorry about that. So my yarn and my uh, fringe right under my needle, straight alongside the top, and I let the machine do what it needs to do, just guiding my ribbon right under the needle. Now this part of my jean skirt is going to be a little tough so I'm going to try my best to get past this side. Um, so I'm going to have to kind of like push my, my um, 
dress in under the machine so that way it does not pop my thread there we go we got it done guys almost there And you continue this until you reach the end okay guys so I am coming up to the end of my um, skirt here so what I'm going to do is I like to go a little bit uh, beyond the end and cut so I'm gonna cut it from here my ribbon of blue I'm gonna cut my fringes right at the edge here and then I'll fold my ribbon of blue under this so that way um, it'll line up with the end of my dress and then I'll show you how to close and then we're going to go backwards and do the bottom so that way it's nice and sturdy okay so you see how I cut that there this is what I meant um, and then I'm going to that little extra piece fold it under get it all the way down to the edge of my skirt and have it make sure I'm actually using the camera so I'm not looking at the actual skirt but here we go all right great that's perfect that's perfect let me just try to bring it in so you guys can see what I mean see how the ribbon of blue lines up right there at the edge of my skirt that is perfect okay guys let's finish this out Now, um, at the end of the skirt here, you want to make sure you go back to seal that corner. Okay, so now once you get to this part, you want to lift up your machine so that you'll be able to turn your work and go the opposite direction. You want to line it up. Get it under your needle again. Now we're going to hit the bottom row. So you want to make sure that you put your ribbon of blue right under that bottom row and you seal the bottom. Going back in the other direction. And again guys you're just following sorry let me get my camera and my skirt lined up here you're just following again that very last stitch right there follow straight down let your machine do the work just take your time and step on the machine and I'll see you at the end Oh, praises to the Most High. Here we are at the beginning of our skirt and we're going to finish off the bottom. Please make sure that you do not double stitch your dress because that can happen. And like I said, every time you get to the edge, you always want to put down your reverse button. Go backwards. Just seal that little edge right there. All done. So now you're going to lift that up, pull this out. Cut it, cut that extra string you got at the edge there. And I'm going to show you what my skirt looks like on me with my new fringe and ribbon of blue on. Thank you, thank you for watching. I hope this helps for beginners how to sew fringes onto your skirt. See you soon.